Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk. Welcome back, guys, to this episode of World of Tanks with Guido, with me. IS-5. This tank gets a lot of hate, actually. It really does. People don't seem to like it. I'm, I'm going to just be contrary and say I'm starting to warm up to it. And I actually, I think I kind of like this tank, but we're bottom tier. we got tier 10s going on, baby, and we're on Manor, Mannerheimer line. And we are headed to the south, and I am going where I think a lot of people wouldn't necessarily go in their tier Excuse me, JT, can I just get by? Thank you. <clears throat> in their bottom tier, even though it is a heavy. We've got an IS-7, we've got a JT. We're just pushing down here, and I like this because we are just going to dominate in the south. Bit of a problem in the north. We'll have to maybe turn around and deal with that. We'll see how it goes. Quite a few guys camping on the TV camping spot. But we're going to talk about the road less traveled, man. All right? I'm taking the low road. Those guys are taking the high road. Another IS-5? Are you kidding me? Where on earth did they, oops, okay. Where did they get another IS-5? That's amazing. He dies. The road less traveled. You know, we talk a lot when you're bottom tier, people say, you know, just support. Try to try to help your team be a support tank. And that's what I'm gonna try to do right here. I'm just gonna come on up here and sneak a little cheeky shot into the top of the M103. Unfortunately, I take a bunch more and they don't really do the same thing. It's unfortunate. But we're just gonna hang out here. Oh, yeah, that hurt. Put some heat into me. That missed completely. And here comes my buddies, and I am up to 458 damage. So the point there of being the bottom tier guy in a game like this, I missed him again, is just get up there and play, man. Get up there. Get yourself some tracking damage. Get yourself some spotting damage. Be that annoying tier eight guy that is just annoying a living snot out of the tier ten. This enemy team is in big trouble right here. I really want to get this I this M103 out. And he's he's just kind of kicking my rear. He's he died, so I shoot him anyway. Take that. <laughs> Tortoise gets beat up. Now we have the IS-4. There's no artillery, which makes a lot of a lot of things possible here that wouldn't otherwise be possible. So I'm just trying to get in here and see what we can do with this IS-4. So I think you know, let's just uh, track him. Let's just track him. Let's do that. Let's pin this guy down. Unfortunately, I bounced the IS-7's shot. So we got the S4, he uses this kit, or he repaired it, not sure. Now he's moving again, he is fired, I'm reloaded. Let's get up here and track him. There we go. Pinned him down again. Got 324 assists right now, but just wait. There we go, 915. Hey, let's just track this guy. A little bit more tracking there. I don't think I'm going to get that. Somebody tracked him right before I did. Up to 915 assists. He wants to shoot me. He doesn't know what he wants to shoot. There we go. There's some more. 1,428 assist damage. What am I doing? I'm just annoying the living heck out of this stinking IS-4. Back in the back there a little bit. There we go. We're at 2,502 assist. And we've done a pretty good job. And it looks like things are going well. The north is not hurting. That's all good. And I see this IS-3 too, but I don't know what he's doing. The badger is just sort of staring at us. There are some guys up top. Let me try to kill this guy. Ooh, there we go. A little sneaky cheeky on that dude. And we'll just push into the badger here. I thought about going below him. Ooh, and then changed my mind because I really did not want to get stuck down there. So we'll just go by and they're going to push him off. And that's what the IS-7 does. I don't know if he ever gets out of that. Ouch, the char future hits me for 381. I'm just trying to use this little edge right here to cover. Maybe should have stopped there and potentially shot. Because it takes him a while to get rid of this badger. He's, <laughs> He's being a badger. He's kind of badgering him over there. Look at all of them are just diving down in there. Only got 527 damage, man. But the road less traveled, my friends. You just hit W, get your tank to the important positions, and join the fray. Join the fray. I think a lot of people in this situation with this tank would have been hanging out in the back or maybe trying to be uh, up in the north or something. Not me. Not me. I'm going to get down there and see what I can do. i got a T-30. Watch this. I don't think this is a good shot. They, did they drown the badger? No, they finally destroyed him. Definitely some honey badger action going on right there. Enemy team's evening up a little bit. This is hard to push across this open area, and all those guys dove down into that ditch. So I've got to kind of wait for them to regroup. I don't really want to push across there because we've got a T-30 and a Char and a LT. 
Looks like the M449 died. There's an unspotted RHM as well. So there's an RHM hiding around back there somewhere as well. There's the T30. I'm going to try to sneak one into his turret here, but it's angled. So I hit it, but don't do anything. There's the LT. I can't really go across this open area. Probably wasn't a great idea, really, to be honest, to push in here. You're sort of trapped. It does give me a different angle on things, but if all my friends off to my right die, I don't have a lot of options on how to get out of this spot. So it is it is a bummer to put yourself in. I have to bounce that one again. Still angled. But they're pushing up under. T30 is just sort of sitting there. And I'm thinking, come on, man. Let me I get a hatch on it. Oh, there you go. Thank you. No, nope, that didn't work. Do it again. Sure, he'll, he'll do it again, won't he? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Just a little patience. A little patience. The road less traveled. 2,758 assists, 752 damage, but we're not done yet. Because we're just going to W into these guys. We're just going to W into these guys. Bottom tier, you can be effective. You really can. You just, you just get the W out and you start pushing. I'm thinking, alright, let's get this dude. Wow, it takes a while to zoom in. That is one of the painful things about this gun. It is very derpy. The cool thing, though, is its standard pen is 221 for the 122 millimeter. That's actually pretty good. And then it's got heat that's up to 70, I want to say. Well, not 370, but 270. 370 would be amazing. Yeah, it's 270. 270 with the heat, man. There's 3,015 assist, 1,096 damage. And you'll see the card after this. I'm actually number one on the experience because of a tier eight getting down there and, and getting busy on the road less traveled, my friends. I took the low road, the enemy took the high road, and I definitely got there before them. Pretty good experience game. Doesn't look amazing at 1,096 damage, but if you consider the 3,000 assist, pinning down that critical IS-4 and just being a complete annoyance to that guy, limiting his ability to, to fight the rest of the team, once we got him, he was kind of the linchpin of that defense on that corner. We were able to seep through. The rest of the team obviously did well. They won in the north. Basically won everywhere on this. I just want to show you guys that there, there's more ways than one to do things in this game for sure. And even the tanks that people don't like. I, I'll tell you what, I kind of like this thing. I really do. It's, it's not bad. The only thing... The only thing that's unlikable, and I, I think this is why people don't like it very much, is it's very similar to the IS-6 and the 112 and such in that the Derpy 122 is a, is a limiting factor on it, but it doesn't have preferential matchmaker. So I, I think that's probably the big one. It does struggle a little bit to take on the tier 10s, but it's got the 270 pen heat, which is you know in the ballpark for dealing with most of the 9s and some of the 10s. I don't know. I like it, man. I like it. Well, that's all I've got for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. If you like what you saw or learned something there, I don't know what you would learn on that one other than, you know, pin down pin down the, the big guys, man. Be that annoying fly. Be that annoying. Bottom tier can be fun. It really can. It can be miserable at times, you know, getting, getting romple stomped bottom tier. But if you can get into a push and support, and when, let's go off on a slight tangent here. Because when people say it, when people say when you're bottom tier, you should support. That's what it means. Not support isn't. Hey guys, good luck. You know, I'm, I'm going to hang out here at the house while you storm the castle. It, support is get up there with them. Don't throw your tank away. Be careful about how you do it. But when that big gun on that IS-4 goes off, get in there and get a shot in. And if you can pin them, great. If you can't, pin them down. Do something annoying. Flank them. Draw some fire with a strong turret and let your let your other tanks get shots. That's what support means. Not uh, not hanging out at A0 up in that tree in the corner there, which frankly is a very comfortable, nice little tree. And bush area for a last defense, but that's not the place to start. And, and do not be, I just noticed it, do not be the T30. Do not be this guy at this part of the game. What? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> I just noticed it. Why would you still be there? The last three tanks were spotted in this area two minutes ago. Last four, I guess it was. But yet, he's not even... I don't know. 
I don't know. That's well, that's it for today, guys. That's all I've got. We will see you.